Alright guys, it's the next day. I was yesterday I was trying to get that truck fired up. It needs a new battery. So I need to uh, at least get it started and let it run for a little bit. Um, had some footage that I lost taking this baler apart, but I can show you what exactly is wrong with this flywheel, why it kept on shearing the shear pins. Uh, here I'll take you guys over here and show you this. But if you can see like right in there, there's a gap. Let's see if I can move this thing. Just yeah, you can kind of see if I can hold this. It's just a lot of play. There's a bushing inside there, and it's it's plumb wore out completely. So I had to order a new bushing. Um, what else did I order? Uh, there's some spacers and another uh, sleeve on the back side that's completely wore out. I ordered them two things and a new sleeve for the shear pin bolt. And that was like $181 just for those. And it's not even a handful of parts, uh, but they're all brass. So it's super expensive right now. And they said it would ship in 10 days. So I'm hoping that it, it's in 10 days and not in like 30 days because I really want to be done with this kind of stuff sooner than later so I can move on to other things because I got two hay wagons that I have to build before hay season so those projects I can build them in here I just won't be able to put the uprights and the back of it up but I can you know do the platform on the hay wagons inside the shop so that'll help uh, the platforms are just too high I think by a foot or so so I won't be able to do those in the shop. But that's not a big deal. I can build them in here and then put, put it upright once I take them outside. So that'll give us like four hay wagons. And being that we have those that extra field back here this coming year, uh, it'll help out a lot to have four hay wagons. We put about 120 bales on the wagons. So we got 800 bales last year off our field because we fertilized it. And you know that that field behind it that we just leased is the same size i think it might be one more acre so you know we're gonna end up right around two thousand bales of hay just from back here so it'd be nice to have four wagons rolling so we don't have to stop all the time and unload the wagons and then go back out in the field so that's the big thing is just keeping it keeping it moving so you can keep bailing because um, normally once I get off work, I come home and start bailing. So we only got a couple hours each night to do it. So it makes it kind of hard if you only got two wagons. But uh, temperature's dropping pretty good right now. It's only about 27 degrees out, 30 degrees right in that area. And uh, everything's still frozen, but that's good. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of mud. So one of our projects this year is to put a new roof on our hay barn back here. And I'd like to uh, maybe get some new siding and put on it, fix up these doors and stuff. So that's going to be a pretty healthy project, but I'm not going to mess with it until uh, we get a majority of the hay out, just in case I get stuck with rain or something. I don't have to worry about the hay getting wet. So this will definitely be a pretty major project. Also this year, we are going to tear down this old garage here. Um, it's almost falling down now. We really don't have much in it. It's just a pretty good eyesore. And on the back of the house, we are going to put a like four season room. So it'll incorporate our mud room and that new back door. Well, it's not new yet, it's on order. So, and it, uh, it'll allow us to go through that mud door. We just never use it. Um, we always go through a sliding glass door and that's where our kitchen is. And I just, you know, I built, when I built this door in right here, I made it to where we can go through there. You know, that's where all the coats hang and stuff like that. But, uh, so we'll put the four season room on the back. This tree will come down. All these other trees will come down. And uh, that'll be nice. So that's another project coming up for this year. So another project, I don't know if you can see the barn, but on this side of the, this barn here, we want to like mirror the lean-to that I put over on the other side. That sun's pretty bright, but it feels good. So I don't know if we'll get to that this year. I would really like to, because then 
you know that can address the, the coop problem that we have um, the duck problem that we have as far as a good dry place for them to be uh, kept at night and um, it, it would help a lot um, but the, with the lumber prices if they go down we'll definitely look into it for sure but right now it's just almost untouchable as far as lumber goes uh, plywood really I mean the two by material isn't really that bad but the plywood, I mean, it's like 20 bucks a sheet, so it's it's kind of hard. And, and then metal, for metal siding and stuff like that, it's it's ridiculous as far as the money goes for that kind of material. So we'll see, but that's, that's kind of one of those projects you kind of put down at the bottom of the list. If you get to it, that'd be awesome. If not, we'll push it till next year or whenever we can. So that's another one. And then the biggest project of all of them right now that it would be a stretch to get to this year but it is on the list is I want to take all these trees the pine trees down and stuff and mirror this garage this is a 40 by 50 garage with a uh, 14 by 50 lean-to I want to mirror that garage but I want to make it a hundred feet long so it kind of extends past and I have garage doors coming in on the back side so and I would like to make it uh, a 16 foot garage. This one here is only 12 foot. And kind of make this a, uh, a really, really nice inside. You know, maybe kind of like a recreation area. And then in the back side, I can keep all the hay equipment inside. But like I said, that is a uh, more of a afterthought, not so much a project. But it's been on the list every year for the last three years. So, we'll see how things go. Alright guys, hope you guys are enjoying this video. It's just kind of uh, things that are coming here in 2022. Um, some of the projects, maybe not, but hey, you never know. Uh, you never know how things go. Uh, the ones for sure that we definitely want to get to is the roof on the hay barn. Uh, the hog barn's got to be finished. That's going to happen here in the next uh, month or so. It's got to be completed. Um, the lean-to, that may happen towards the end of the summer. Um, and uh, as far as the garage goes, that would be on the very end of the, everything else, you know, building the new garage. Um, tearing down the old one, that's definitely going to happen too. Uh, this year also, we are taking a, like a two-week vacation to Yellowstone. So I'll make a, a big video about that, you know, probably a couple. If I can find Wi-Fi out there, I'll post what I can while we're doing it. But uh, definitely a big video on that. And that's going to be later July. And, uh, you know, as far as major projects, that's what we're looking at. Um, and then we have the garden coming up. I'm going to do things a little different this year. I won't crowd my garden like I did last year. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I really have. It's just a little bit of update and what's coming for uh, the year 2022. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.